At last, Boris shout out two days after Emifile's arrest, sent warning to those involving him and begging Tunubu to get him arrested. It don't happen. Oti <laughs> Shele. Hey, my people. Um, so, Mr. President, who they fear? See, let me tell you, my dear listeners, no matter how he tried to warn or challenge anybody, he is no longer the one in power. Gone are those days when he would threaten the people with the military or deploy military to go after anybody. He is no longer the one in power. And besides, if Turbo decide that he is going to jail, he will go to jail because he committed so much. So much. Imagine what he left behind for this administration was a deficit and not even a savings. Imagine he exhausted everything in the account and left behind debts upon debts. And when we are talking about debt, we are talking about trillions of naira and dollars as debt. And if we decide to start checking the things that he actually used this money he collected as a loan that has cost us debt, we won't be able to find it. So these are the things that Tunubu will have to look at and decide if Wari will not be arrested or if he will be arrested. So he is not the one to decide or to tell uh, Tunubu that yes, that he, do, he doesn't have the right to arrest him. It is Tunubu that will look at it and say, okay, you are due to, for arrest. Just like Emifile was arrested. You understand? And I just let, let's quickly check the content, my dear listeners. This is evening news. According to a viral report, the former president of Nigeria, Mohamed Buhari, has warned his former appointees from asking him to testify as a witness in court in a bombshell declaration that has shocked the country's political establishment. The report claimed that Buhari made it plain during a speech at a private event in his hometown of Daura, Katina State, that he would suffer serious repercussion for anyone who attempted to demand his testimony. The former president, who held the post from 2015 and 2023 for two terms, is well known for his unyielding and frequently uncompromising leadership style. Even though it was vague, Boris warning has aroused a lot of conjecture about his intention and the possible repercussion for cases involving his former alias that are still pending in court. Boris' alleged statement is coming up barely two days after the DSS arrested CBN Governor Emifile over alleged corruption in the Apex Bank. Wari was a key player in the state in the startup of a significant anti-corruption drive during his administration, aiming to rid Nigerian of pervasive grift and rebuild public trust. During his time in office, a number of well-known individuals, including former government official business moguls and politicians from several parties, were indicted, detained, and prosecuted. Several trials are still pending, indicating that the search for justice has continued even after Barry left office. Barry's remark, which seemed to be spoken with a thing of contempt and menace, has sparked questions about the objectivity of outgoing investigations and the possibility of meddling with the administration of justice. He is not the one to decide, like I said before. It's an error. You understand? Um, look at, from what I have just observed, Bwari is speaking authoritatively, despite knowing that he is not the one in power. The decision is left for the person in power to decide, to know if he is innocent or not, and not for him to say or take action. When he has the power 
to take action has gone. You understand? That time has gone. <laughs> My people, I think we are, we are actually heading to the permanent site where the truth about President Momopwari will now be, uh, be, will be revealed. You understand? Because uh, all the while we have been living in lies. I, 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 I was able to double a photograph of the real President Mopari's mansion in Niger, my dear listeners. Hey, Nagodno say our money, our money, they don't collect our money finished for this country. I'm telling you, they have finished us in this country. And if nothing is done very quickly to recover all those money, just like all those Abacha loots was recovered, <laughs> you will see that this country will be empty. Imagine, in the, in the reserve, Bwari left nothing but deficits behind for Tunubu to make do it. It means that Tunubu coming into office... He, 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 he didn't uh, no, Kobo was not left in, in, the, in the treasury for him to make use of as funding but rather it was debt so for him to, he, he, he's now telling Tunubu to come and start paying debts which he has incurred by himself if Kwari is not arrested, I will know that Tunubu is the biggest fool ever in this country. So that is what I think that should be done, my dear listeners. I greet you. This is the Lord TV. We are still expecting you. Let's quickly hear from you and let's know what your take, what your advice and what your opinion on all that has just been said right now, this very uh, evening, maybe. Don't forget to leave them below the comment section. Click on the subscription buttons as well as bell buttons to get updated each time we upload any new videos. Thank you.